<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are back after some significant technical difficulties. Um, but hello, welcome, welcome back to to the stream. Uh, my name is Quimby Alert, and I hope today is going well for you. Hope today's a good day. Um, yeah, so if you if you recall, we there was some. Some, some rather difficult times over here with the technology yesterday. Hopefully it's fine, but, uh, you know, we're just gonna try our best today. Um, yeah, and welcome back to Mare's Paradise. Um, just a quick, just a quick little recap as I'm doing the opening stall kind of thing. Um, yesterday, our trick with replacing Mason, the son of the city council members, was discovered, and, uh, I got ran out of the town, um, and... Uh, bas basically just thrown out. So today's gonna be a little bit of a short and sweet little stream because um, I've got a lot to do uh, because to, for for travel purposes and stuff. Can I break this? Hello! Hello, uh, how do you pronounce that? Like, doing you live? Hi! Hello! Welcome! Um, Dino? Oh, okay. Dino, awesome. You know, that's actually really cool. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch out of F5 of you now. Oh, th thank you for following. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Alright, so with with yesterday's stream being as uh wild as it was with the technology department, I hope nothing important got messed up. I check things out a little bit, it doesn't seem that we have. Um yeah, but today's just gonna be some quick like Mostly, mostly working with the people here, trying to trying to get my name all set to be cleared, um, because oh gosh, it's it's this whole it's this whole complicated thing. I think I'm gonna have to uh, go talk to the Woolsworths soon because they're in on the plan to uh, frame the Milk Boys for being the ones to actually cause uh, Mason's disappearance. It's kind of complicated. Oh my gosh, hi, hi, Sasha, two hour for twenty. Oh, it has been a while since I saw you. How's it going? I hope it's a good day for you. Yeah. Um. So the the storyline's a bit complex at this moment for any, but for anyone who isn't aware of what's going on, um, I'm the mayor of a small desert town. I'm doing okay. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Doing great. Thank you for asking. Um. So I'm a mayor of a small desert town called New Stonk City. Um, and I'm an intense industrialist who wants to become a robber baron. Uh. And that is, and we'll do basically anything. Yeah, stonks. It's all about the stonks up in here. Um, so with being a robber baron, the there's this one family in town, like the Piggingtons, that we're trying to be um, stonks indeed. Yeah, hey, Mr. Maluk, it's good to see you. But, uh, so I brought the son of some of the city council members on a fishing trip, but then it became kind of complicated to bring him back, so I just left him in an oak village in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, you know, he's just been vibing there for a while. But I replaced him with a different mason when I got back to New Stonk City. Uh, cause, you know, gotta, can't let his dads know that he's been replaced. Um, uh, but then, uh, but then the Pickingtons blew the whistle. They, they let the big man Steve and his husband know that their son had been replaced. And so then I had to go on the run. So I'm currently not allowed in New Stonk City. I'm kind of hanging out in Bread City. This is um, the agricultural center of the world. Just kind of trying to, trying to live my life, trying to get my name cleared. Uh, and there's this whole big old, <clears throat> big old convoluted plan to clear my name. And it's, it's going to be really cool. Um, I don't know how much, <clears throat> how much my name is actually going to get cleared today because, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to leave some of it for when I get back from visiting my grandparents. But, uh, the whole thing is I'm going to be framing the Milk Boys, another powerful family in the town, like, other people on the city council, saying that they tried to frame me for, take, for, you know, bringing Mason, the son of the city council members, away because they, the, like, the Milk Boys were jealous of how successful the factory system that I was working with was getting. Because Milk Boys developed the factory system, but then did not do a lot with it. They uh, just kind of left me to do whatever I wanted with the factory in town. Um, oh, I remember why I was getting emeralds. I was going to level Mason up a little bit. Um, yeah, so basically, 
basically here's the story and if anyone asks this is this is how it went down um so the milk boys helped me make the factory system but then didn't care too much about it and so they proceeded to just be very jealous um wait i'm going the wrong way they proceeded to be very jealous and so they tried to tried to get rid of me tried to get me out of the picture so that they so that then they could reap the benefits of the factory which is you know not stonks of them in my personal opinion um so they when they saw me go out on a fishing trip with mason they secret they sent a message to the mayor saying me the mayor and that's me saying that his dad's wanted him mason that mason's dad wanted him to go on a study abroad and to have just an experience with that um so you know me being the good mayor i am just left him in this village that he was supposed to be in and then you know got back and as i was returning to new stonk city was asked to provide transport for another mason who wanted to immigrate to new stonk city and again me being good mayor said yes um but then when i got back the the mason proceeded to pretend to be mason this guy right here um which and then they were like blackmailing me to try to tell me that like and telling me like hey you can't tell anyone about this uh if you do like we'll we'll like not not kill you but like excuse me mason can i uh can i come in with you i want i want to here let's do that i want to be able to uh want to be able to let him out yeah or just trade with him in general i guess because um while he was on his study abroad he's had a few life-changing experiences and uh you know, I, I want his levels, like his uh, his trades, to represent that that he's had this great time. Um, oh, so asked to transport this other Mason. He gets back, pretends to be Mason, friend, boy, and gosh, um, yeah. And then it all fell apart from there. So that's the cover story. And if anyone asks, that's exactly what happened. It's all about the character growth. Oh, it's all about the character growth. It is all entirely about the character growth. Yeah. I think it might be a little early for Sai to be here. Uh, so it's probably just going to be me managing things if, like, mod stuff needs to happen. Um, but, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of weird streaming at this time. It's I'm usually much later. Hello, water sounds. Here, I gotta go sleep before the creatures of the night. Early morning greetings, Mayor! Hey, point blank! Hey, it's good to see you, man. Uh, hopefully, what is a better time for you? It's lovely to see you. Hello. How's it going? How's it going, Point Blank? It's uh, it, It's been, like, just since yesterday, but it's still, like, yo, you know? Gosh, my inventory is... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things that normally I just put away in um, the chest back in New Stonks, but... Um, just came home from a long day with my lady where we took her baby cat to the vet. Cat tax to be sent soon. Cat pics, I'm guessing? Yeah, glad I got home an hour before you went live. Yeah! Ah, that sounds fun. I'm glad that you're able to have a good time with her. Oof, things I would uh, normally put in the chest back in New Stonk City that I just gotta put in here now. Actually, I'm gonna keep this because I'm gonna go deal with the wheat field soon. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to decide if I want to actually, like, clear my name today or if I just want to, yep. <laughs> hey, uh, I want to let you know that I think that you guys, like, just being very good friends is the most wholesome thing to happen in chat. And I, I just appreciate that very greatly. Um, yeah, no, but I'm trying to decide, like, how much clearing my name is actually going to go down today. Because, uh, you know, I think it could be fun to... Um, while I myself am not able to, like, be here, hopefully Kitty's okay, yeah, hopefully Kitty's okay. Um, it, while I myself am not here to be able to be, like, the, like, news coming in from your mayor who is currently, uh, you know, in hiding and on the run. So I'm, like, and I, I think that could be fun if you guys would rather that I just get on with the story and, uh, do the clearing of my name than, like, maybe you could get through that, but, um... Also, today's stream is going to be a little shorter because I've got a lot to do before I can, uh, miles to go before I sleep, essentially. But, 
Yeah. I think it'd be fun to do, like, postcards from the mayor, but, like, the mayor in exile kind of vibes, you know? It's like the... Oh, what's, what's it called when the political leader is, um... Is it, is it just, like, exile the exile? I don't know. But, y you know. Y you know what I'm... You know what I mean. Political leader, not allowed to be political leader because, um, reasons. Clearly, uh, clearly, uh exaggerated, completely untrue reasons, but, uh, I, you know, exiled nonetheless. But yeah, that, that, those are thoughts that I've been having. Do, 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 do. Getting the wheat. But then, you know, that does, like, beg the question, of what do I do today? And I think today I deal with the Woolsworths. You were but very tired. We had a restaurant date and BB Cat just crawled out of her bag and fell asleep on the restaurant's booth. Oh, oh, that's precious. Okay, that's actually like the most precious thing. Mary, okay, you sound slightly tired. Uh, the fun fact about that is because I am slightly tired. So I, I did have uh, work yesterday um, and you know, entertainment business. Um, it goes later into the night than I uh, would usually like, and you know, no, yeah, normally I would sleep in a little longer because I stream later, but uh, due to like, you know, travel, travel concerns, I had to be up at this time today, or like up and doing things at this time. I guess I'm usually up by now. Um, you love to see it, yeah. All oh, kitties are great, but yes, that's the pro. And I, uh, I did also. I was up also last night with like packing things, so you know we love sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is um, kind of poggers sometimes. So yeah, if, if, if I sound tired, that's probably because I am a little bit. But yes, it do be that way. Here, let me drink some water actually to, <clears throat> to try to get my voice to sound a little less dead. Mm, liquid. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. And hey, thus far we are, we're like 12 minutes into stream and no major technical issues. So hopefully whatever it was that happened yesterday is not going to happen today. That would be, gosh, I'm like, did you hear about what happened yesterday? Just like everything in my computer freaked out and like my stream labs froze and also Mayor, I vote you, uh, you do what, uh, oh, I, that's probably, you do what feels natural to the story and you need to force development for the sake of wrapping things up. Okay. Because I think, yeah, because personally, I think I'd like to give, I'd like to give this story another, like, at least another day to stew because, um, you know, I, I don't think I'm quite at the, like, level of being able to do big dramatic things today that the conclusion this storyline requires. So I do it feels natural. No, I, yeah, I figured it out. I figured it out. So I think we're probably just going to mess around today a little bit, like, do a little bit of plot development, talk with the Woolsworths, because, you know, I did name the stream Clearing My Name. Um, do a little bit of plot development, but I think it's mostly just gonna be vibes, if that's alright with you guys. Because, again, I'm only gonna be here for, like, an hour and a half, probably. I missed some the last time I came. Rip. Also gonna be feeding the chickens, because, you know, chimkin. Ew, uh, Mr. Mook, did you ever get back with the McDonald's order? Uh, I just, I just wanted to check in with that, because, um... You know, we, we we talked about that a few days ago, and I just, uh, chimkin nuggets, you know? It's about the, it's about the chimkin nuggets. The chicky nuggies. Eight, 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 eight. Here we go. <gasps> I had left that one to stew. Ah! Okay, well, I'm in water now, and I don't want to try to go up. Um. Oh, did I not share with you? Well, what, was he supposed to? Cyborg. <clears throat> Cyborg, who is not here right now because it's probably a little early. He said he would take your order. Cyborg. <laughs> okay, I realized me saying cyborg and then pulling out my sword looks bad. I I just didn't want to be on the seats for when I went over to the chickens. Um, <laughs> just, okay, but I'm going to go over to the bees a little first because um, it's about the bees. <laughs> Just me. Cyborg pulls out a sword. Wait, no, not that. Oof. 
<clears throat> Rip to Cyborg. We do we do love Cyborg, who is not here because it's probably too early for him. But uh, if man's ate my chicken nuggets, um, he's got another thing coming to him. He's got another thing coming to him if he ate my chicken nuggets. Hello, hello, sheeps. Okay. Time to feed the chimkins. Okay, I'm gonna move my inventory, uh, move my hand so I can pull out the seeds and not have to worry about it. Okay. And mm, one more. One more. There we are. Here we go. But yeah, how are you guys doing? How's, how's everyone in chat? Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Did you at least get the Frosty? Did you order a Frosty? Man, parenting is hard. I did not get the Frosty either. I think Cyborg might have eaten that too. <sighs> Cyborg. Cyborg. <laughs> but, oh, I, I imagine parenting would be hard. Thank you for thank you for taking the for taking the job, Mr. Maluk. I will feed all of these chick all of the chickens. Okay. And waiting for the things to go. But yeah, I hope you I hope things are going for you guys. Is this enough chickens? Not quite. Gonna feed them. I'm gonna feed them more. Okay, wait, but like what kind of frosty was it? That's the question. Was it chocolate or vanilla? Because um my my feelings in the oof, I'm in terms of how things are going, life is pretty good. It's nice that it's the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do want to let you know that the flavor of the Frosty changes my opinions on whether I'm, like, mad at Cyborg for eating it or not. Because um, flavor of Frosty is very important, you know? Experience! Experience! Guys, oh, you know what I should do today? You know what I should do? I should sneak into um, New Stunk City to visit Ebony Neptune. I should, like, sneak in at night or something and be like, Ebony Neptune, I'm here to see you. That could be nice. That could be very nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, I have all of these eggs. I have all of the eggs. Be free, eggs. Oh, it is getting dark. It is getting dark. Wee! <laughs> Oof. Just kind of messing around a little today, I guess. Um, I think they gave us a chocolate frosty. I can't remember what we ordered, though. Okay, so, yeah, that's the thing, because I do prefer vanilla frosties. So, maybe Cyborg was like, oh, this is this is a chocolate frosty. Quimby doesn't... Well, I, I guess I do like chocolate frosties. I just prefer vanilla. And maybe Cyborg was like, uh, Quimby won't want, uh, won't want a chocolate frosty. And then just, like, ate it to try to be like, uh, no, I, what, what chocolate frosty? In fact, I would have eaten it, but, like... It's, it's sweet that he was trying to spare me from it, you know? So that that's probably what happened. Is your mod he'd probably know? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's what we talk about, you know? Uh, our preferred frosty flavors. I'm like, uh, hey, Cyborg, do you want a you wanna mod for me? And he's like, yeah, what's your preferred frosty flavor? That's us. That's what we do. Okay... All right. Oh, I need to drink water. Hold on. Good liquids. Good liquids. Okay. You know, what if I actually uh, go, go hecking yoink a lot of those chickens that I just brought into this world and then take it to, then take them to um, outpost one. Or alternatively, maybe I'll go to... Okay, I'm actually going to head off to Paper Plains because uh, I want to discuss with the Woolsworths and do some do some plotting. What are you looking at? Huh? 
Oh, hey. Oh, wait. Actually, okay. I'm immediately going to get distracted from anything that I said that I was going to do. Because I want to take a look down here. You can hear all the sheep up above. That's wonderful. Yeah, this is what I wanted to look at. Whoa. Why are there so many skeletons? Is there another skeleton spawner around here? This is a lot of skeletons. Wait. Hold on. This is, uh... Okay, this this is... Okay, this is this is actually wait. I I want I want to investigate this because if there's if there, if there's skeletons here, then uh, then I want to check them out. Okay, hold on. Should I just go down there and deal with them all? Here, let's let's start here. That's a lot of skeletons. Okay. I fight you. Okay, fight complete. They seem to all kind of be coming from this way. What was up with all the skeletons? What was up with all those skeletons? Is there a skeleton spawner somewhere or are they just all spawning? What is up? What is up in this place? There's just so many skeletons. Why 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 are there so many skeletons? I don't understand. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here. Is it just that a whole ton of skeletons spawned? <laughs> That's kinda weird, not gonna lie. What what the, why? Why is it like this? Why is this the way that it is? Why did only skeletons spawn? Wait, except here there's more. Okay, no, there's even more here. There's gotta be a skeleton spawner or something somewhere. What the heck? Oh, creeper. Aw, oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. I miss, I miss power five. Why are there so many skeletons? There's gotta be a skeleton spawner somewhere. Or like, it, like, is it just me or is that a ridiculous amount of skeletons? It's just, like, like in what world do that many skeletons just spawn randomly? There's got to be something. Right now I'm leaving a lot of resources. Hello, green fellow. <laughs> I missed power five, but this does put a smile on my face. Oh, that was ridiculous. Um, you know, it's actually probably not that way. That's objectively a lot of skeletons? Yeah, you, you know what I mean? That's just objectively a hecking whole ton of skeletons. Up here somewhere? Like, I don't know, man. Why? Why are there so many skelly boys? Why are there so many skeleton lads? I don't understand. Over here somewhere or something? Where are they all coming from? And, and again, it's like just skeletons. What? Where? Why? Skeleton stunks up 12 avocados today by my calculations. See, that's a ridiculous number. That's a ridiculous number to be up by. I don't understand. I keep hearing skeleton noises. Is there something down here? 
Okay, there's probably not a skeleton spawner down here. There's probably just, like, lava. Oh, lapis. Cobblestone generator. All right. I mean, yes, I will, I will mine the lapis because, uh, you know, lapis, but, um... Eh, I don't, I don't need the rest of it. I just got 53 hacking lapis. But where are all the skeletons coming from? Where have they, where have they come from? Where did they, like, where do they come from? Where do they go? Where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, well, there's a, there's a zombie. That's, uh, that's like, that's different. That's, yeah, that's not a skeleton. But why, why, okay. It was like six skeletons when I got down here. That that doesn't just happen, right? There there's got to be there's got to be something. Okay, I I get the feeling that this is going to turn into like a no, you got to believe me. You got to believe me. There's a like and I was like, "Yeah, sure, sure, grandpa. Yeah, there were skeletons." Like sure whatever. But like But like it, it was it, it was too many to just be like spawning stuff, right? Right? Where did they come from? I, I need to like I need to track them down. I need to I need to follow this to its source. It's just where? Where? It's it's like me me in the nether looking for gas, like where? But but I'm looking for skeletons. There's and I keep finding bows everywhere. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Am I crazy? Or is it just are there, are there no skeletons ever? Were there no skeletons here at all and I'm just imagining them? Oh uh, gosh, at this point I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, but like But that was so many skeletons though. It was so many. Chat, you believe me, right? You you you, you believe me. You you wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't lie to you, right? Oh well, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, so it can't be that way. Okay, we're chat okay. Enough enough conspiracy theories. We're going to go about this logically. We are going to explore this area and look for any, anywhere that skeletons could have come from. This is, like, this is personal now. This is no longer just, oh, haha, ha, are there actually skeletons here? This is, uh, where the heck are the skeletons? I know you're there. Come out. Stop hiding from me. Okay. I mean, this, this looks promising. This, oh, that's, that's a deep hole. That's probably not, you wouldn't lie to us without the disclaimer that you're in character and don't actually subscribe to what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I, I would lie to you if I was, uh, if I was just acting and being in character for things. Okay. I get the feeling we're getting further away from the possible skeleton spawner. Cause A, I don't see more skeletons and B, we're getting further away from where the skeletons were. But I will take some time to mine some resources because, um, you know, good times, good times. Gotta get the stonks. Listen, I may currently be on the run, but as the mayor of New Stonk City, how can I just leave stonks? You know? Oh, there's a green boy. Hello, green boy. I miss power five. Okay. Again, there seems to be a lack of a skeleton spawner right here. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well that's zombie noises. Again, that's not that's not skeletons. Is that baby zombie noises? Okay, yeah, I, I keep feeling like we're getting further away from wait skeleton this one could just be like naturally spawned but what if it wasn't what if this was just a sign that we're on the trail of the skeleton spawner huh huh you know i hear i hear skeleton noises you never know what'll happen um there we go and bam full docket of torches Detective Quimby is on the case. Oh, you know I am. Okay, well, uh, that's... 
That's a little more than I was bargaining for here. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I am just gonna... Uh, just gonna... Just gonna take a sec. Just gonna... Okay. Whew. That was a close one. I'm sorry, sir, this is a private party. Your name is not on the list. Um, so sorry about that. Oof. Trick works every time. You know? Tell people they're on the list. And then they die. It's brilliant, really. Thought of it myself. Okay. Oh, well, there's a carrot. Okay, again, I get, I get the feeling we're getting further away from possible skeleton spawner. Maybe if I go back, there will be more skeletons and they will lead it. To, they will lead me to it. Okay, this cave is this cave is so twisty. Why is this cave this twisty? Why are there this many passageways in this cave? Oh, big open area. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, it's like lit up now, but there's still all those upper passageways. Um, okay, I think, I think I'm gonna try and head back for a moment to try to see if I can, you know, discover any more clues as to the identity of this. Oh boy, that one goes down. The ones that go down always get me. Because, you know, they go down. They go down. Where, where do they lead going down? You know? Oh, it's a, it's a ravine. I think. Or just a lava pool. Uh, what's my Y level? 30? Ooh, going down could be... Going down could be low enough to take me down to diamond levels. Ooh. Folks, we're going for it. I know this is a distraction, but would, would this be a Quimby stream without just an absurd amount of distractions? I think not. I think not. Oh, well. Um, God, we need some torches. Also, fun fact, me with a mouth of, uh, with a mouthful of crispy lechel and fried rice earlier. So, baby, there's a streamer, and she's a mayor, and we're like a town, and we're slandering some cows, and it's great. Her. Huh? <laughs> oh, thank you, Maluk, for the, for the, uh, tangent song in honor of Cyborg, who is currently out of commission. But just, you're just, sorry, point blank, I just love that you're just like, okay, so we're, we're like this town and we're doing this thing, and your girlfriend's like, you doing okay? You doing all right? Or, like, what? <laughs> oh boy, I, honestly, I kind of love that. I love that, just the, the, just how absolutely, like, cryptid, like, everything sounds out of context. That's wonderful. I love my partner with all the stupid shenanigans. Aw, that's sweet. We love we love involving partners in stupid shenanigans. That's like that's how you know you care. Okay. Okay. Eh. Just staircasing my way down though. Interesting. But ye. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like in the town and we're slandering these cows. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. I, I know, <clears throat> like, oh. see again with the skeletons. What is it with skeletons and wanting to kill me in particular? What is it with skeletons? The constituent cult. <gasps> I'd love it. We are a cult now, except not really. See again, skeletons. So it's either there's like a whole ton of skeleton spawners somewhere. Or I'm just like a magnet for skeletons. I don't understand. I do not understand. Okay. Well. And here we go. Mayor, how long are you playing to stream? I might about for a bit to play Phasmophobia with some friends. Um, we'll catch up again if you're going to be streaming for a few more hours. Probably just for like another singular hour because I've still got a lot- oh, diamonds. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do for, for travel things, so probably just going to be like an hour and a half 
long stream total. Yep, just just short and sweet today. But if you if you need to bow to play with people, then I, I totally understand. But yeah, all right. Here we gotta gotta mine around the diamonds first. You know, gotta check them out. Make sure everything's up to code out here. So good luck on the family vacation. Hope to get more postcards from Adventures Bossing. Yeah! There's gonna be postcards. It's gonna be cool. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the coal first, because, yeah. Right, I'll see you and we'll go to the Discord. Good afternoon, both of you. Yeah! Bye, Point Blank! Good to see you! Bye, good luck playing Phasmophobia! Don't die to the ghosts! Or do, I guess, if you want to. It's up to you, I guess. Oh, I love fortune. I love fortune. Fortune is top tier. But yeah, bye. Bye, point blank. Bye, point blank. Good luck. See you on the Discord. And then also, hopefully, after after my vacation. Bye bye Oh, boy. Lots of, lots of resources down here. Okay. Yeah, it's probably- we're probably just gonna keep doing chill mining times for now, I guess, Milik. But, <clears throat> yep. I do not know what's up with my throat today. Cause it just keeps being raspy. Like, I've- I've had water, I've been talking for a while. I'll have more water right now, but my throat just keeps, like, not wanting to cooperate with me. So, you know, <clears throat> wild times. Eh, uh, sure. I'll oh, mine the redstone. No promises that I'll keep it. No promises that the redstone will be kept. It may just be thrown in the lava momentarily. But I'll mine it for, like, the XP and stuff. Careful with the lava. <gasps> I meant to press E. I meant to press E right there. Well, that might be the end of chill mining times right now. Oh boy. Well, <clears throat> not a total loss. I've still got materials I can use to make more. You know, what's the point of life if we don't just let ourselves lose some things sometimes? Was that sad? Absolutely. Am I devastated? Probably a little bit. Am I okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, I meant to press E there. Oh well. You know. What is it, a grief but love persevering? Yeah. I mean, I'm fine. Sad? Yeah. But, okay. I mean, ultimately, I can make another one. I've got levels, I've got diamonds, I've got, uh, like, the books I need for to make the things. Nice chill. You know, nothing to worry about here. But yeah. That might be the rest of the stream, though, is uh, making a new one of those. Gotta sneak into New Stonk City to do it, so that'd be wild. You know, just just gonna be a little quiet for a sec, cause you know, as much as I am okay, that was uh, that was like very very sudden and like oof, yikes. But um, but, I mean, I, I really am fine. It's like at the end of the day, it, it is just Minecraft. Where did I come from though? That's that's the problem I'm having right now. Is I am lost. <laughs> oh boy, where where did I come from? It's okay to be sad, but it's good to know that everything will be alright regardless. Yeah. Yeah, that's really how it be. And hey, I've got I got ten diamonds from it, so that's nice. Okay, where did I come from? I'm so lost. 
Where did- where? Where did I come from? I don't understand. Okay, that's the- that's the thing that's getting me right now is like, where in the heck did I come from? You go up, I think, by the lava pool, you went down. Okay. Like this lava pool? Um, let's, let's see, let's see. Okay. Um, that's not the way. Maybe a different lava pool? Yeah. I'm not sure where I am. I'm not sure where I am. That's fun. That's fun times. Where? Where? Oh, where did I come from? <laughs> See, this, this is concerning. This, this I'm very concerned about. Okay. I like staircase down somewhere. There should be cobblestone somewhere. What? How? How? How do I do these things? I... There's a green man. Okay, I don't understand. I don't understand. At this point, I would- normally this would be the moment where I start, like, towering up. But, I don't know, the way today is going, I feel like that might be the one time that I mine into lava above me, you know? Where did I come from? Where did I come from? What's, what's my Y level? Twelve? Gosh, I, I might just, I might just tower up at this point. I really might. Alright, let's, let's get to a bit of higher ground. Just, you know, as, as far as we can. Is this where I came up? Where? Hey, hey, Rice Kitty. It's good to see you. Hope things are going well for you, Rice. Um, I'm incredibly lost. As always, as always. And, uh, accidentally threw my diamond pickaxe in lava, so that's fun. But, you know, uh, we're, we're doing chill. Hold on, I'm always paranoid about things. So, yeah, just kind of vibing in here today. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the stream making a new diamond pickaxe. Because, uh, ooh, iron. Well, that's nice. But ye. The vibes are kind of wild out here today. Okay, hold on. Let me just, uh... New torch here. Break this torch. Tar up a little more. And get the rest of the iron ore. But yeah, how, how are you, Rice? It's, uh, it's lovely to see you. Hope you're having a good day. I'm fine. You know, like we, Milk and I were talking about a little bit ago, like what's, what's the point of living if you just, uh, like, I don't know, care just, care only for diamond pickaxes and stuff. Like, yes, it's sad that I lost it because I had spent a lot of levels on it and did things, but ultimately end of the day, it's replaceable. I can, uh, I can do more things. I, it's just Minecraft, so you know, good, good times, good hours out here. You know, we're, an we're having another, it's, it's another Quimby philosophy chat, you know, just, uh, we're talking, we're talking about grief in our philosophy lesson today. Oh, this is looking like we're getting up towards somewhere with light. That's good. Okay. Can I find my way out from here? Where am I? Like, I think this is maybe the same area I was exploring earlier. 
Okay, yeah, I think it was. I think I was exploring here earlier. Where are the torches on the left? Not there. Where's where's the left? Here it is. Here they are. Okay, I'm I'm finding my way out. Is down is down the way to go? Yes, down is the way to go. Nicely, nicely, nicely. Oh, this is where I was looking for the skeleton spawner. Today's stream is brought to you by the letter C for clearing my name and coping with unexpected loss and getting a little lost. Yeah. That's today's stream. Um, I think I... Okay, I, there are more resources here, but I think in honor of my lost diamond pickaxe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on mining them until I get a new one. Because, uh, you know. Philosophy. And yes, that probably has nothing to do with philosophy, but, um, philosophy. Alright, there's the sheep. There are the sheep above us. Alright, here we are. Up on the surface. Alright, so, here's the deal. I am gonna go empty my inventory a little bit, and then I'm going to sneak into my mansion in New Stunk City to use the enchanting table there. I've got some lapis on me from the trip, so you know. I'll be able to use it there. Uh, we'll see what we can get on um, on the diamond pickaxe. Uh, but if it, but if it's not stuff that I like, then I'm gonna go ahead and make more fortune books. It's gonna be really. It's gonna be a, a big old spy mission. Okay, I need to consolidate some things. Are you still going to visit Ebony Neptune? Oh yeah, if I if I make it to New Stunk City, then I'm gonna visit her. Cause you know, you, you gotta see my kitty. Gotta see my kitty kitty. That's like that's an a necess like an absolutely necessary part of life. Right, um I'll leave like two here. Anything else I need to consolidate? Redstone. Alright. There we are. And then also lapis I should probably. Alright. Okay, then time to drop things off and go on a spy mission. Okay, yep, I've got a ton of lapis here. I'll take care of that later. I've got redstone. Um, then I guess I'll just drop the rest of the stuff off as it happens. Wait. Okay, then there. And drop that off, that off and that off. Uh, yeah. Do I have string anywhere? Yes, I did. String goes in here. Um, I'm gonna put this bow here. Oh, and then we've got bones and gunpowder goes in here. I know that this is a, like, very, very unorganized chest system, but, uh... Wait, actually, hold on. Um, I'm gonna combine all these bows to fix the one that I've got, uh, in my hands right now. Bam. Fully fixed bow. Alright. Oh, I need a little bit of lapis. Alright, here we go. Time for a spy mission. Alright. So sneaky. So very sneaky. I wanna just check what this guy's got. Um... I was wondering if I could, like, trade for more stuff, like, with things for him, but no, no, no. No, no, no. None of that. None of that. Okay. And yes, it's getting a little in the day late in the day for this, but that's fine. I should probably bring fish if I'm going to visit Ebony Neptune, but at this point, I'm not sure I want to go back to do it. Like, I've got, I've only got, like, 40 minutes left on stream today, and I want to take care of stuff while I can. I think I'm also gonna try and sneak into the uh, the butchers, the the place where I've been uh, cooking meat because um, I'm running a little bit low on steak. All right, here we go. Here we go. Just running along the road. It's good that it's gonna be nighttime though, because uh, that'll mean that you know there's there's gonna be less people around to watch what's going on. Why is there a bee here? A little BB. Little BB, BB, BB. 
Yeah. Here we go. Alright, I'm, all right, I'm probably going to need to put mending on the pickaxe myself. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Got him. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like everyone's gone to sleep. Let's go out with a bang. Yeah. I'd like to think you'll find some allies in New Song City. I think the news started sowing the seeds of doubt about you being guilty. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright. So sneaky. Alright, the police are busy with the nightly creatures of the night. That's good. That's good. Oh boy. Hold on. Ah, oh, heck. This is fine. Okay. Just need to take care of... Ah, oh, this is fine. Eh, this is fine. I've got- I've got more stone stockpiled. This is fine. Okay. Eh, just perish. Okay, alright, here we go. <gasps> Fortune 3. Okay, so this is actually this is actually basically the same thing. You know what that means? That means I just need to get to paper planes to get mending for it. Nice. See? See things are okay. Yeah, the pickaxe is so stonks. Nice. See what what did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys about uh things being replaceable and okay? Okay, I'm gonna sneak over to where Ebony Neptune is. Then gonna gonna stay the night there. We're gonna pretend this man isn't here. Actually, we're gonna kick him out him out of his bed because uh, I just need to sleep. All right, local mayor's in progress mansion reportedly overrun by creatures of the night and a single chicken. Hey man, uh, don't tell anyone I was here, please. This is this is essential to the to the survival of our town. Yep. All right. Then, excuse me. Hey, Ebony Neptune. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, I know things are a little weird right now. I know things are a little weird, but listen, listen, it's gonna be okay, sweetheart. It's gonna be okay. I've got a plan. I've got I've got everything in the works. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. No, believe me. And you, you too, Lemon Lime. Just trust me on this. It'll all be okay. All right. I love you. Little little forehead kiss. Mwah. Uh, um, I'm gonna need your help when it's time, but uh, so I'll, I'll I'll come and get you when when I need to do things. Okay. All right, lemon lime, lemon and Neptune look after each other. All right, I love you too. Okay. All right, here we go. The secret is. No one can see you if you're sneaking. Look. Lemon Lime and Ebony Neptune cast a memory using Charm the Fletcher for good measure. It's actually a shepherd, but I like your th I like your thoughts. See, the secret is no one can see you if you're sneaking. Not even that guy. Not even that guy can see you if you're sneaking. That was a wild that was a that was a lucky shot. Wow, this guy's pretty lucky he's gotten two lucky shots in wow yep it's impossible to see you if you're sneaking so so difficult shepherd two for you not sure. hey hey deck annie lovely to see you no one can see me i'm sneaking that's clearly how that works so hidden 
no one in the village will notice that I was here. Okay, guys, I think I gotta make a break for it. All right, successful visit to New Stonk City without getting arrested. Folks, we got him. All right, now I gotta go to Paper Plains, uh, get mending for this diamond pickaxe that I just made, and talk to the Woolsworths about uh, the plot to, to frame the Milk Boys. But hi, hello, hello, hello uh, Dakini in the chat. Um, uh, things are things are pretty wild right now, um, storyline wise. Uh, but how you doing? I hope your hope your day's good. Um, I've been fleeing from the cops in Minecraft, so you know that's that's the way my day is going. Whoop. <laughs> You know, if if you think about it, uh, not a, like not a single member of the police force saw me. Um, not, all the angomes were too busy fighting off the creatures of the night. So really, mission accomplished. Sneak one hundred. Doing real well out here. Okay, food, 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 food. Good times. <laughs> All right, then, yeah, I think I just need to, how many diamond, um, how many emeralds do I need for mending? Like, 12, I think? 10? I think it's 10. I've got, I left a minecart here. That's fun. So I've got four emeralds. Um, I can probably just make some books and trade them. Although, that, I don't actually know that that would give me enough. We're gonna go for it. But, ye. Yeah. Um, for- Long story short, um, I kidnapped the son of some of the city council members, but then got caught, and now I'm trying to frame out on someone else. So, you know, good times. Good times out here. Good. Good days. Whoop. And down, and up, 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 up. All right. The Woolsworths have probably gotten word that I'm in town by now, so I should probably visit them sooner rather than later. Oh gosh, I I promised them that I would get all of their like tricky villagers, tricky librarians up to the next uh, trading level in exchange for their help with this whole plot. And so get ready for me being in debt to the mafia again. That'll be good times. Uh, you went on the run, planned all the cover-up, found many diamonds, and where did that bring you? Back to me. Sugarcane. Yeah. Uh, listen, what can I say? The sugarcane is addicting. It's just, uh, oh, I need to grab some, some leather. It's just, you just start and then you don't want to stop. I, I don't know that I'll ever be free of the sugarcane, but, you know... I hope someday I'll I'll be able to I'll be able to kick this fully. Um, hello. I would like to trade with you. Pew. Oh, actually, that might be enough. And I have one book one book left over for for getting uh mending. A. Okay, gonna do that real quick, and then the Woolsworths will probably want to hear from me. Okay. Hey. Hello. Hello. The universe smiles upon you today. I know, right? Ah, oh, things things are just lining up. Things are just going great. Okay, got I gotta talk to the Woolsworths. They're they're gonna wanna hear from me. Oh. They've been expecting me. Alright. Alright, um excuse me, uh if you I can can I can I get through? Oh, he's he's probably he's probably let he's probably letting them know that I'm here. Just uh. Hey, um. No. Hi, Mrs. Mrs. Woolsworth, Mrs. Woolsworth. Um. Lovely to see you too. I just wanted to update you on the progress of um, clearing my name. So I went out to the Oak Village. I I did find Mason. I found the original Mason, and he ha he's willing to uh, come back and absolve me of any crimes like regarding his sudden disappearance. Um, and I'm planning on pinning it on the Milk Boys. 
No, I mean, I, I know they're powerful in, this, in the village, and I know that this is a bigger move than we were planning on making this early in the game. But listen, the town is already... It, the town already trusts the city council so much. I think it could really do as well if just a prominent forward member of the city council was proven to be involved in a kidnapping plot. And <clears throat> listen, the way the evidence is lined up, it looks like it should be easy. There should be no problems getting this to work out. Um, all I need is your support. I, if you could be in con like talk to your contacts in New Song City, uh, just like maybe maybe talk to them about um, you know just about how how untrustworthy the milk boys are and how me, me as the mayor I would never do something like kidnapping Mason. You know just just that sort of thing. I just I need public opinion if this is gonna work. Yeah. All right. Uh, then you know it's a it's a pleasure working with you two as always. You know, I will I will be back to pay to pay the debt that I owe you. Yes. No. No. Of course. Of course. That's that's number one on my priority after I get my name cleared. Th thank you much. Thank thank you much, Lee, ma'am, ma'am. Oof, the mafia. They really do be like that sometimes, you know. Well, at the very least, we've secured support. So that's good. There we go. Bam. What can I say? Strunk's pickaxe. Very strong's pickaxe. So, doing good. Alright, then I think... I think it's time for me to sneak back to, um... Sneak back to uh, Bread City, cause <clears throat> you know that's my main base of operations right here. Although I guess, I guess I could trade with the um, Fletchers here and get a few more emeralds before I head back. I think that could be good. I want to have plenty of um, plenty of uh, what what was the word I'm looking for? Leverage on hand for when I make my move, and I, you know, having. Having a pocket full of emeralds, I'm sure, will will help with that a good deal. So, here we go. And it's getting late in the day, isn't it? Oh, well. Who cares? Just gonna go for it. Yep. I need to go now. Good luck. Yeah. Bye, Rice Kitty. Thanks for being here. Lovely to see you, as always. Um, yeah, hope to see you after my break with my grandparents. So, bye bye Achoo. Got him. I'm... I I'm gonna heckin' yoink some cows while I've got, uh... While, while I'm here, cause, um... Cause, you know... Just, just need to clear the population a little bit. Okay. But yeah, bye, Rice Kitty. Bye bye. Good luck with your endeavors. Hope to see you in a week. Eh. Hopping, hopping, hopping. Sleep. Okay. Alright. Oof, stretch. Alright, liquid time. Gotta drink the liquid. Okay, and I'm up. I'm up, and <clears throat> I'm gonna go slaughter a few more cows just for good luck. For good luck, you know? It's for luck. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, pretty good, pretty good. All right, all right, all right. Just a few more. And... Okay, that's probably good. Local mayor releases a statement on the recent cow shortages. It's nothing personal. It's just for luck. You know, it's, it's just for luck. It's fine. Don't need to worry about it. 
It's just for luck. Why did I... There we are. There we are. Do I have enough inventory space? Yes, I do. I was wondering if I had enough for the trees that I want to chop down. But I do. I definitely do. It's just for luck, you know? Killing cows, just for luck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's go look at UFO tree. It's a staple of our community. UFO tree. God love UFO tree. Okay, well, it looks like it is this tree's turn in the ringer, so here we go. What if you released a statement on the recent cow shortages, but it was just for luck? Oof. Sounds like rough times. Sounds like it's oof rip times, you know? Here we go. Oh, this is a short, tall tree. E? E. E. Yeah. All right. Yeah, how you doing? Look, look. It looks like it's just uh, just looks like it's just me, you and me right now. How's it going? your day's going well. Hope you're vibing. I'm vibing, personally. It's kind of uh, one of my specialties, is the vibes, actually. Um, ch -ch 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 my inventory is pretty full. It's going well. Nice way to start the stream with a day. Nice day to start. Nice way to start the day with the stream. <laughs> I can talk. But yeah, that's what I think, too. Okay, and there we are. Just gotta go ahead and bop, 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 bop. Okay, gonna chop down this one too, and then gonna go trade with the peas. But yeah, I, I agree. Starting the day with a stream is like nice. That's usually how I start my day, so you know. I may be a little biased there, but what can I say? <laughs> Yee. Yeah. Okay, so. Like, fun story, I was just hit with, like, a desperate longing for a jungle biome. You know, it, it, it hits every once in a while. Um, but, like, it's weird. I'm just going about my day. I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about the big old spruce trees, you know, like, the super trees. And then I was like, oh, but, but jungle wood is also, like, really thick, right? Aren't there lots of, like, big old trees in the jungle? And I was like, I want a jungle biome. And I was like, no, I cannot have a jungle biome at this t moment in time. Because I am, um, I, you, you know, I, I'm too busy clearing my name of the crimes. Oh gosh, is a jungle biome going to turn into, like, my ever person quest to find a jungle biome? I know. I was just thinking, is this going to turn into my, like, you know how an up, um, it's like, you know, we're, we're going to make it to, to the, uh, to the Amazon, whatever it was, someday, like, you know, we're going to go on this adventure, um, I think I think that might be the, the jungle biome might be that for us. You know, it's like someday someday we'll make it to a jungle biome, and uh, oh boy, I don't need this carrot. I've got carrots. I thought there was a stick over there, but apparently not. But um, it's like someday someday we'll make it to jungle biome. It'll happen. It'll happen eventually. Oh wow, that's lots of things. That is many things. We'll make it. One day. Someday, way off in the distant future, there will be a jungle biome. And we will go to it. Gosh, can you imagine? That would be... That would be ideal, really. Jungle biome. You know? I've never been to a jungle biome is the is the thing about that, you know. Just here I am. Just a just a poor kid a poor kid from one island in the middle of the big archipelago. Couldn't be believed in the green light emanating from a jungle biome. 
yeah, that's 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 about where I'm going with this. It's um, you know, oof, start a stretch. <laughs> Gotta get my uh, serious voice on. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a kid who started life in a in, in a small island in the middle of a big archipelago. And you know, I I had a dream. The first dream was always to, you know, have enough food to eat and be able to, uh, you know, to survive and make it to the next day. But the second dream, the second dream was always to fight the jungle biome, you know? It just, I'd look out into the world and I'd see the possibilities if we're going to the jungle, but none of them would be open to me. I'd say, jungle biomes aren't for poor kids like you, Quimby. Quinn B. Quinn alert. And I'd say, what? That's oddly specific. And they'd nod sagely at me and go about their day. And I still didn't understand it, but they kept saying it. <sighs> but you know, now that here I am, a, a grown adult man who's the, who's the mayor of a village, I think it might be time soon. You know, I think, I, I think I might make it someday, but you know, that's way off in the future after all this whole, I actually need more inventory space after this whole fraud and uh, kidnapping people, the stuff dies down. I'll make it. Nod sagely. Yeah, me too. Me too, Mr. Maluk. Me too. Excuse me. Actually, wait, I want to talk to you in just a sec. It's just, were you ever a kid who only wanted to go to a jungle biome? Because I was once a kid who only wanted to go to a jungle biome. That was me. Yay, verily. Okay, where's the other Fletcher? <laughs> Oof, just the, just the dramatic looking off the distance like, someday. Someday. Someday it'll happen. Oh, wait. There we are. There we are. Okay, you're the one I just talked to. Where's the other? There he is. Fletcher man. Fletcher man. Does. Becomes a Fletcher and Fletches man. A song by Quimby. Alright, there we are. And. Yeah, looking good. Looking pretty good. Someday you will become a librarian. Okay, so I've got 33 emeralds. That should be good. That should be enough for more of a bribe. Because if we're going to be real, it's a bribe. But I'm going to drink some water real quick. I think the next move is uh, going back to Outpost 1. Cause I wanna, I wanna trade with some, with some peeps there. Cause I got a lot of beef. You know, it's the, it's the beef. But it's getting a little late for that. Pew! No real reason to go in the water. Just wanted to. And really, that is a real reason. Not sagely. Again, I know that was from earlier, but I just. I felt like that was appropriate. Okay. Mm <sighs> Let me sleep. Hmm. Let's see. <sighs> I thought it would let me sleep. It was a lie. I have one oak plank here. I don't need one oak plank. But okay, go off, I guess. Okay, I guess I could make um a, a wooden shovel with that. Not that like that would be useful, but I could, you know, if I wanted to. If I wanted to make a wooden shovel, that I could. You know, it's a possibility. Definitely a thing that could happen. Okay. Now the treacherous business of navigating to Bread City from paper planes. The railroad isn't complete yet, so you know, 
There could be all kinds of, uh, all kinds of anything, really, along this trail. Even cowboys. There could be cowboys out and about. There could be many cowboys. It's like, you ever heard of cowboys, son? Stay away from them, they're dangerous folk. They'll try to steal your agriculture secrets. Is this a ravine? It's a ravine. There's lava in that ravine. Cowboys intent on stealing agriculture. Exactly. That's what they do. They come around, they stare at you, and they try to steal your agriculture. It's a, it's a, you know, it's, it's a terrible tragedy. I still, I still have so far to go on this railroad. Gosh. <laughs> but those cowboys, they're always intent on stealing your, uh, stealing your agriculture. It's not like, it's, it's not like trying to steal Lucky Charms. I feel like that's, uh, you know, that's a, that's a whole different world, like a whole different can of beans in our society. Stealing agriculture is dirty. That's like... That's like a hot rip, if you know what I mean. It's like trying to steal your method of surviving. It's terrible. It's really awful. Sugar cane! Okay, listen, hear me out. I know this isn't going to become like a regular thing for me. But I just, I just, uh,. I just gotta, um, just gonna take a second here and, uh, yep, that's all, that's all, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, it's fine, it's fine, it's a-okay, don't worry about it, watch as I come over to here and then there's, um, and then there's cowboys trying to steal my agriculture. It's not a problem. You can. It's not a problem. You can stop har harvesting sugar cane whenever you want. It's fine. It's it's not an addiction or a compulsion. I just like to do it. There's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't hurt anyone. It's just me making some decisions. Where are the chickens? Um. They're over here. I passed right by them. It's not a problem. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it at all. Okay. Um. There we are. Okay. There we are. I want feathers. Can I get feathers? Hold on. I know I can get feathers. I know I can get feathers. There we are. Okay. How we doing? How we doing? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. hit so many chickens at once. <laughs> I hit so many chickens at once. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, hold on. Alright. Then. There we are. Got him. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, bless. Oh, boy. That's, um... That's a lot of things. Okay. There we are. Give me the feathers. Give me the feathers. Give me the feathers. Give me the feathers! Okay. That's what we wanted. See, that wasn't so hard. That wasn't so difficult. That was difficult. There's... Uh, give me the feathers. Give me the feathers. Hold on. Give me the feathers. 
or or the or the meat. I'll take the meat too. Okay. All right. Fortune uh looting, I guess really be like Okay, there should be more feathers somewhere. Give me the feathers. Give me the feathers. There we are. There we are. Oh boy. Okay. Give me the meat. Give me the feathers. Oh wait, no, there, there's more feathers right there. Yeah, that's probably enough, actually. Um. Yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna leave the rest of it. I think I'm just gonna leave the rest of it. Ah! No! 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 Let me up. Let me up, please. Egg. Yeah, looting's very nice. I I greatly enjoyed the looting. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Oh wait, wandering trader, what you got, man? Or wandering llama, I guess. Where's your parent? <gasps> Did I just tame a llama? Please don't die, llama. Llama pug! Yeah! Uh... Hello? <gasps> I have tamed the llama. Okay, guess I'm uh guess guess I'm on Twitch now. Hello, hi, how's it going? I've got a llama. Hello, llama. Oh you need you need carpets to ride them, don't you? Ripped my inventory. Okay, um listen man, listen, I will be actually wait, uh Will that work? Okay, 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 okay. Llamas are poggers. They are. They are poggers. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go grab some shears. Gonna grab some wool, and then I'm gonna grab the llama. Please don't die, llama. I have some llama trust issues ever since Boat Llama One Two. Oh my gosh, I should have tamed Boat Llama One Two. Maybe that's why they despawned. Oh my gosh. That could have been it. That could have been why why Boat Llama One and Two disappeared. Oh my gosh, and yes, I definitely do have trust issues ever since Boat Llama 1 and 2. Oh gosh, Llama don't- Oh gosh, what what should this new Llama be? Uh, I- because I- it's already- it, it's already, like, claiming my heart, not gonna lie. Harold? <gasps> Harold! Oh, I love it! Oh, I love it! This will be Harold. Hello, Harold. Okay. Okay, and two. Okay, that should be that should be enough. Harold Llama. Okay, um, my inventory is entirely too full because I was not planning on encountering a llama. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave some things. Wait, should I dye the carpet that I'm gonna put on the llama? Oh, what color should I dye it? Um, I think I'm, I'm kind of limited to what I can see right here. Blue. I like blue. I like blue. Uh, uh inventory. Harold for king. Oh, absolutely, Harold for, for king. Harold deserves the entire world. Just gonna drop off all of my feathers because I don't need those right now. Okay. I see this one blue flower. Hopefully there's a second one because I think I need two two blue wools. Where's another blue flower? I need a blue flower for Harold. It is for Harold Minecraft. This isn't for me. Okay, there we are. There we are. Oh, where is Harold still over there? Harold is. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's getting dark. I need to get Harold to safety. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm doing excellent. How are you doing? Wait, first I need to actually make the dye. Uh, a little tired today. This is a little earlier than I usually stream because I've got, um, I'm, I'm traveling today, so that's going to be wild. But, um, but yeah, doing, doing pretty good. How are you doing? How's it going for you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Awesome. Yeah, glad to hear it. Eh. Okay. Then, joop. <gasps> yeah. Okay, can can I tell the llama where to go now? Can can I tell the can I tell the llama where to where to go? Harold? Harold? 
you know, it's a nice chill day for me. Okay, you know, it's it's getting dark. For Harold's own safety, I need to go sleep. But I will be back to see what's up with Harold next Minecraft day. Harold. Harold. Oh, homes can be tamed by only by leads. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. I think I might have some here. I just found Harold wandering around, like no no wandering trader nearby him. Okay, please tell me I've got leads somewhere in here. Do I not have leads? Oh my goodness gracious. I know that I have leads over... Oh, I have leads in New Stonk City, but I'm currently a fugitive from right there. Heck. Hmm. And I've got leads over in the Paper Plains quarry area. But that's also pretty far away. Harold, why? Why Why do you fill me with such sweet sorrow? Okay, if it works, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't you have to just lead llamas around? But look. Look at Harold. Look at this Harold boy. Oh, he's so schnazzy. So schnazzy. Hey, Harold. I'm just sitting on top of Harold. Okay. Oh. I wonder where Harold's Wandering Trader went, because if I could find Harold's Wandering Trader, I could slaughter him in exchange for the leads. I kind of get a feeling Harold's Wandering Trader might have fallen down here or something. Like, I don't know, just the way Harold was standing kind of gives me those vibes. But I don't see evidence of, like, anything left behind. Maybe I should fence Harold in and then come back for him when I have leads. That might be the safest plan. Harold is entirely too precious to lose. Harold is a sweet boy and he deserves the world. Harold deserves everything. You know? Okay. Here we go. Uh, do you have any name tags? Not on me. And the nearest librarian is in Paper Plains, which is a good wizard. At least I don't think I have any name tags on me. No, I don't. I do have fences. Hopefully 13 fences will be enough. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm going this way. The... I guess... Next time I go to Paper Plains, I I need a lot of name tags, actually, for a lot of people. So at some point I should just get a bunch of emeralds and then uh, name tag everyone who needs a name tag. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Gotta, gotta keep Harold safe. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Nope, no, no, no. Stay right there. Stay right there. Harold. One minute, I'll be right back. Okay. Sounds good. Harold. Sweet boy. Sweet boy. Absolutely love this boy. Look at him. Look at him. He's just, a, he is simply a llama. Hello, Harold. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go put these fences away. Ah, oh, Harold. Harold, my beloved. Harold, my absolute beloved. Harold is a sweet boy. Harold is a good lad. He's simply a llama, you know? We love a Harold. Okay, then, um, I think I need to head to outpost one. Why do I have- oh, I have two separate things of that because of, uh, because of the chimkins. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Oh, hi, welcome back. I've left Harold in, um, in a little fenced-in area. And I'm, I'm now taking all this chicken that I have and uh, taking it to um, where all my butchers are. I've kind of, there's kind of a, um, a whole like town trade system going on here. The, the storyline's a, a little convoluted if you want to hear it, but um, the basics you need to know for, uh, for the towns is that um, this is the industrial age and I'm specializing like labor and 
town manufacturing and stuff. And they can only be led by leads and won't despawn if under a 20 by 20 area. Okay. Okay. What is what is under a 20 by 20 minute? Uh, 20 by 20 area. Is that like if I'm within a 20 by 20 area or if they're like enclosed in a 20 by 20 area? What is that? Please, please explain. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly, uh, fairly new to the Minecraft thing. Um, I've only been playing for a few months now. Enclosed like in a fence or something. Okay. Well, okay. Harold is, Harold is enclosed. So he should be good. He should be good. He is an enclosed boy. He's very much an enclosed lad. Okay. Um, time to find some butchers. But, oh, that's, uh, I, f I feel much better knowing that Harold isn't going to despawn. He is a, he's a sweet lad. Sweet boy. I remember there was a butcher over here that had been leveled up less than the other ones. Oh, here, here we are. Butcher. Um, your sheep pen was probably like the max room for not despawning. Yeah. Yeah, the, the sheep pen just kind of vibes right there, you know? Just lots of sheep. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I was hoping you'd have a coal trade, but whatever. Um, yeah, the sheep pen is a... The sheep pen is certainly... Certainly something. I thought there was a spider under that tree, and I was like, why is there a spider out in the middle of the day? Look, you, you can kind of see, like... If you look at the corner of your eye, the poppy sort of looks like the eyes, you know, and the, and the, oh, like, I don't know, just if, if, if you're just looking around and not looking at it carefully, it kind of looks like a spider. Oof, I was like, why is a spider out in the middle of the day? And it, it was fine. Yoink. And yoink. How you, how you doing, man? Okay, what's your last name? I mean, that's not very good, but okay. The main point of this is to get emeralds, because I want to be able to bribe people. Here we go. How you doing? How you doing? And, uh... I mean, I guess if I someday have berries, that'd be nice, but... The main point is the emeralds. Because I need to be able to convince people that they that I'm not actually guilty of the crimes that I've been committed of that I've been convicted of I can words sometimes I can also not commit crimes that's a lie there are so many crimes there's so many crimes but yeah so um basically basically uh ripped me for getting caught I can be a lawyer sometimes. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I do. I am probably in need of uh, legal help in this situation. I think uh, Mr. Maluku should also be here in point blank. I've been doing a lot of lawyer stuff. I'm sure they'd love to have you help out. Because, you know, um, <laughs> a lot of people um, in chat have, like, jobs in the town, kind of, that they do. Um, just, it's like, a fun thing. All right. Yeah. So, like, uh... My mod that's usually here is like the employment office and we've got the stonks manager and my personal assistant. We always need more legal representation. Heck yeah, we always need more legal representation. You know, uh, if I'm going to be a robber baron and rule this town with an iron fist, I'm writing this down. Awesome. Yeah. If I'm going to rule this town with an iron fist, I'm going to need the law on my side, you know? So, I, I mean, welcome aboard. Welcome on board. Okay, I guess I'm on Twitch now. Glad to have you. Do, 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 breaking the grass. Sorry, I get distracted by making sure that the roads are in good condition. That's like the one, like, it. it so I always get distracted by infrastructure. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, thank you. Ah, oh, you're welcome. But um, I always get distracted by. It. I can't spell apparently. Listen, spelling is a thing that happens. I, I can usually read it anyway, so it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I always get distracted by infrastructure, but for some reason recently, roads have been my absolute kryptonite. I just... 
I'm just going along and I'm like, oh, this road needs to be maintained. And then next thing I know, I'm just like mindlessly clearing roads. And I'm like, wait, I should be, I should be doing other things other than this. But my brain just goes, the roads, clear, them. like make sure the roads look good. And I mean, look, that, that looks, that looks better. It looks like, you know, someone lives here, which I do. And you know, if I'm, if I'm going to be the mayor, I kind of want my areas to look nice. It's just a fact of life. I guess I'm not technically the mayor of Bread City or the outlying outposts, but, um, no one needs to know that, you know? No one needs to, no one needs to worry about the far reach of my power. I just find myself going to random Twitch streamers. Hey, that's a good way to do it. And, like, I'm always happy to just vibe with people and have fun, so... Welcome aboard, I guess. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's probably not time for me to sleep. Okay, it's time for me to do my favorite thing, which is stare into the sunset hatefully while I wait for it to be dark enough for me to sleep. Crap, it's 8.35. Oh, bless. Bless. Uh, you gotta go then? If you gotta go, that's fine. I need to go soon anyways. I've got packing and stuff to do for a trip. Um. Soon? Okay, yeah. Okay, hopefully I can sleep. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be I'm gonna be gone next week because um uh, I'm I've gotta be I'm visiting family so I'm gonna be away from my setup and everything, which is very sad. But I mean if if you feel like coming back in a week, then I'd love I'd love to have you. If you don't then if you forget all about it then that's absolutely fine. But um I leave in like five minutes. Awesome, me too. But yes, yeah, so if you forget all about it then that's totally fine. But if you wanna come back and be uh legal representation, then hey, I'm always down for it. Oh, thank you for following. Okay, because I'm on Twitch now. That's so nice of you. Thanks. But yeah, I mean, I, I look forward to seeing you then. I mean, I, I know we've got like five more minutes, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Many thanks. Many, many thanks. Choo, choo, choo. But okay, okay. I'm I'm not going I'm not just going to be working on roads for the last like 5ish minutes. I'm going to head back to Bread City and do something productive. But yay! Many thanks. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Going back to Bread City. I re okay. So here's my dilemma. Bread City is the agriculture outpost of the world. I'm going to the beach with my cousins today. Oh, that sounds so fun. That sounds like a really good time. Not gonna lie that. Like, cousins are great. Beaches are great. I hope you have a good time with that. That sounds amazing. Um, oh, wait, but my dilemma is that uh, Bread City is the agricultural center of the world. And, like, I'm fine with Bread City being the name that's, like, on brand. It's just, like, name, like naming things very literally. But Outpost 1... Um, thank you. Yay! Yeah, Outpost 1 is, um, part of Bread City, technically. It's part of the Agricultural Empire, but is not, like, but Outpost 1 just kind of sounds a little boring, but at the same time perfectly describes what it is, which is on brand. Is this where the honeybees usually are? Oh boy, I'm bad at directions. I feel like they're usually around here. Where are the honeybees? Oh, gosh. So I'm trying to decide, like, do I want to rename? Oh, there they are. How are we doing? Um, ooh, octopus. I I think octopuses are really great, not gonna lie. That, it looks like it, I did that correctly. <laughs> but yeah! Octopus. Um, yeah, so... I, yeah, they're very cool. Oh, gosh! Um... Have you have you heard the like octopus octopi octopodes debate? Um, are you playing in one seventeen? I am indeed. I wasn't expecting to be, but it just like updated while I wasn't looking one day. I haven't. Oh gosh. Okay. I'll I'll go into that a little bit. Um. Just as we're as we're talking about here. Um. So here's the thing with uh the plural of octopus is under a lot of debate in recent years because um most people say octopi but the problem with that is that that is a latin uh plural that's how you do it if this were latin 
But first of all, um, English isn't Latin. Second of all, octopus isn't a Latin word either. Octopus is a Greek word. Um, one off. One off. By the way, when sending their axolotls, which I find really cool. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The deputy mayor of um, the deputy mayor of the of the city that I'm mayor of um, is an axolotl because, of course. Haven't yet finished his, the city hall for him to just vibe and be out of his bucket in, but oh, I the axolotls I'm here for, but yeah. So, um, the plural of octopus in Greek would be octopodes, and I personally absolutely love that, um, because you know octopodes, but. Uh, the, the the plural for octopus with like English just in basic English is octopuses, which is you know that octopuses is fine, but consider octopodes, you know, it's like octopuses but they are octopodes, and I just octopodes, you know. So basically, I've I've started saying octopodes because I think it's so much cooler than just like octopi. And, you know, even, even octopuses is, even octopuses I'd actually argue is better than octopi. Because, you know, why, why would you say, why would you have a Latin, uh, plural when you could have a Greek plural? Or, or, or even just an English plural. Octopodes is like just saying poggers. Exactly. Exactly. Octopodes is probably the most poggers way of pluralizing, um, octopuses. This is fine. Don't worry about it at all. Yeah. Sorry, gotta go. Listen, I gotta go too. Um, I'm just hanging around because it's like fun, fun to talk with you. But I, I also need to head out, so that's absolutely fine. But yeah, it was nice to meet you. I guess I'm on Twitch now. I hope to see you again in like a week. Um, that'll be uh, I'll be I'll be back uh the Monday after next Monday. Bye. Bye then. Bye. Uh, get. Bye. Okay, guess I'm on Twitch now. See you later. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I should. I should probably head off too. I've got a. I've got some more things I need to do before I leave. But. But the grasses. They. They call me. Okay. No, that's it. That's. It. I'm. I'm. I'm ending stuff here. Okay. Okay, taking off the armor for an F5 farewell. Joop joop. Okay, well, uh, thanks for thanks for coming today, guys. I'm gonna make this quick because I gotta go real fast. But um, thanks for coming. Uh, I hope you had a good time. I enjoyed chatting with you guys and doing some things. Um, I'll be back on Monday when hopefully I will be um, you know, restoring my rightful place as mayor of New Stonk City. Can I break this? I can. All right, awesome. Doki, okay, thanks for streaming. Yeah, thanks for being here, Mr. Maluk. Okay, bye, guys. Uh, thanks. A week from Monday, right? A week from Monday. You got it. Uh, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern time. We're going. We're going back to the to the regular stream time today. It was just a little special. But um, yeah, I I'll I'll be active on Discord. Um, hopefully I'll be I'll be sending lots of memes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye bye. Farewell. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm actually ending now. Okay, bye. Thanks for coming.